Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to Kay's Place. So, I have one last little haul for you guys. I, every month, get a stamp set from the Stamps of Life. I did join their um, Stamp and Die Club. It's not very much. It's under like $30 a month. And you get a stamp and die set every month. Plus, through the end of the year, you get an extra die in your package. One to two dies in your package every month. So, for August, which I didn't come on and show, I picked up this. It's called Sunday to Stamp. And it is the cutest little die set. Here's the instruction, kind of the little instruction card that they give you. They show one of the cards that they made. And they showed you everything that comes in the kit. As well as the additional matching dies that you can pick up. I would love to pick this up. I have not done so yet. It's the ice cream cone. It's so cute. So, there is the Sunday. That is the one that I have. This is my ice cream when done on the little card on the back. So, my extra stamps this month were Thanks. And it is a double layered die. And then I also got some sprinkles. It's like whipped cream and sprinkles. That's what it reminds me of. It could be a cloud and stars. I don't know, but it reminds me of a little dollop of whipped cream and some sprinkles. Here is the die set. These are all double layered. You can make a shaker out of these. You've got two cherries. You've got sprinkles. You've got the sundae cup, the ice cream, and the like topping. So that's what that one looks like. And then the stamp set that it comes with is right here. It says, pretty please with the cherry on top. How sweet it is. What's the scoop? Hello, you're so sweet. Life's hard. Ice cream helps. My friend. So that's what that looks like. And then for September, my little freebies were these two little dotted squares, I guess, or rectangles. Hmm. What you call those right there? They're not stitched. They have like a little dot edging over here. So, and then the other one was an edge, two edge dies. One is a larger scallop and one is a smaller scalloped edge die. Then here is the card that came along with it. It's called Holly Wreath to Stamp, and so that is what stamp set looks like that I got, stamp and die set. Then they also have a coordinating one that is called More Holly to Stamp, and it's got some holly and poinsettias. It's got a great, like, holly border that you could do an entire card with. It's really pretty. That one says, Merry and Bright, Joy, are you the holly to my jolly, be merry, love, peace. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And they did a card. That's the card they did with that set. This is really pretty. Then, here is the die set itself. You've got your holly berries, your holly leaves, a beautiful flat bow that is double layered as well as some individual leaves and berries and an individual holly leaf and your wreath, which is also double layered. Then with this one, your stamp set is Holly Jolly, Season's Greetings, Merry Christmas, and the word joy. And then that's what that looks like. So then I picked up something offline. I ordered it from um, somebody on Etsy. And let me show you what that was real quick. I need to learn to make some rolled flowers because I do not do well at it. I stink at it as a matter of fact. And I believe these came from sparkling ghoul on Etsy. Her name is Vanessa. 
and I picked up some of these absolutely gorgeous mint green rolled flowers. These pretty blue flowers. Not really a baby blue, but definitely a real pretty pastel blue. And then I also picked up some of the pink rolled flowers. Like I said, I stink at rolling flowers, so, you know. And they're in two separate sizes. There is a smaller and larger size in here. I also picked up this little um, charm mix, I guess you would call it. It's in this adorable little box. Sorry for the crinkling. I haven't even opened it yet. It just came in today. So, she's got it tied up really pretty with some ribbon in this little acrylic box. And like I said, it's just this cute little acrylic box. So, it had a bunch of stuff in there. So, you got... A resin rose, one of these little bubble beans in pink, a tinier bubble bead with pearls. For you Maggie Holmes fans, there was a little enameled swan in there. There was an adorable little gold teddy bear. There are multiple of these really pretty and they're flat. They're relatively flat anyway. Um, butterflies. They kind of look like that. These are. There you go. There were several of those in there. There's another teddy bear. Another one of those really pretty enameled swans. Except this one is in pink. There are two of these really pretty enamel pink butterflies. They're so tiny. There is, this would do great with Maggie Holmes Carousel Collection. There's a little tiger. There are two of these, or three, three of these. Three of these little rose charms. I just don't have a lot of gold charms. This is a little rose. There's three of those, and then there are three of these bows, which are super cute. So, it came with quite a bit. I think this might have been like four or five dollars. It wasn't much, but there's a bunch of charms in there, so. Then she always sends a free gift whenever she sends out her orders, and this time she sent me some trim couple of little snippets of trim. Let's get that open. This one I really love. It's a really pretty sparkly gold. Almost looks like a little daisy border trim. And then this really pretty, they're not puffy. I have a puffy heart trim. This one's more of a flat satin heart trim. So any good enough that you could do a card with it. A card and a tag maybe. So, that is everything I have picked up re recently. Um, the things I've picked up at the stores have just been per chance. I was out that way and got a chance to run in. Um, there are some things I'd like to pick up from some other places, and we will see if that comes to fruition. So, thanks for watching. I will try to remember to put Sparkling Gold's information in my description box below. Um, if you have any questions about anything or definitely comments, but if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and I will happily answer them. I love talking to you guys. So again, thanks for watching. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. And if you're not, if you would like to consider subscribing, you can hit that little subscribe button and then hit the notification bell and hopefully YouTube will notify you when I upload videos as random as it's been lately. But thanks again for all of your support. I cannot say it enough. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.